All right, welcome back to another video of the Universal Corey Day. My name is Corey Day, and I'm joined again by my friend Chris. Oh, this video is going to be a reaction video. So we both travelled to Paris. So we're going to watch a video of some Paris vlogs, just sharing our thoughts as we go along. So here goes. All right, so this video is actually in Hindi by the looks of it. And we're going to watch it probably at two times speed, just because obviously I don't understand anything he's saying, but just to get the vibes of it. So here goes, two times speed. Let's go. <laughs> So I like his energy, he's got great energy. Like his energy is really up there in terms of you know showing parts of Paris. Look at that view that he's got in the picture. Smashed it. Again, you can see the sun shining. It does make a difference to your trip if you get good weather or not. It depends what kind of weather you like. If you like grey skies and rain, then I guess grey skies and rain <laughs> will be your thing. But if not, you might want to be a little bit more specific and timely about when you go to Paris. Yeah, like I said, I went in July, so it was bright and it was sunny, it was warm. Didn't have to wear. I was like, came hey, just, just actually, I just had a t-shirt and a jacket on, and a tracksuit. Yeah. So I went three times, and the times I've had the best weather were both. I think July, August, um, and then the one that wasn't so great was September. So just bear that in mind when you want to travel to Paris. <laughs> so you get this in a lot of European countries, especially now, where you can rent different scooters. So these are the Lime scooters and some others. They're really useful to get around in, so I like them. Obviously, be careful in terms of your safety, but yeah, they're cool. Have you ever used it? Never. Never? Okay, fair enough. I don't plan to. You don't plan to. Because <sighs> he's scared. Nah, better safe than sorry, but um, they can be fun. <laughs> yes. He's <laughs> he's, he's got some great shots in this video, uh, honestly. I'm impressed, but I guess that's why this video has 4.8 million views, even though it, and it only came out seven months ago. <laughs> you can take the person out of the home, but you still got to have the home food, I guess. He wanted his uh, Indian curry chips, I'm assuming he's Indian. <laughs> See, by the sounds of it, it doesn't look like he knew those people, yet he just ended up, you know, having some fun with them, playing games. That's not the kind of things that can happen no. in travel. I've got lots of stories like that, but Chris, yeah. You know what, no, some people just got the confidence to do that. But I guess, when, at times when they know that you're a tourist, they're a bit more friendly, a bit more open to you. Obviously, there's other times it could be a other way, but, no, yeah, they tend to be more friendly. Yeah, because sometimes they'll think it's a one and done kind of thing, so they don't need to worry about anything, ever seeing that person again, it's not a big deal. I've always had, yeah, well, pretty much always had good experiences meeting up random, or meeting random people, and even becoming friends or acquaintances with them when I've travelled. So, not surprising to see that. I'm sorry, but he's brave riding on the road in the scooter, because when I use those scooters, I always stay on the pavement. I'm being a nuisance to the pe to the pedestrians. What, what's but, wrong with you? You meant to be on the road. I, yeah, but if I get knocked over by a car, and I'm, I'm the one that's scared. <laughs> and you yeah. said I was scared, and you're the one that's gonna be on the pavement. I haven't used a scooter in years, and I don't plan to use a scooter again. Yeah, if you're gonna go on the road, you need to have a helmet, please. Right, see, if, if I was to go on the road, I'll go by the helmet, unless there's one provided. I'm not buying one. <laughs> Okay, so it's come to the Arc de Triomphe, which you get to generally often by walking up the Champs Elysees, it's a, which is a shopping area in Paris. So yeah, it's a great, like it's just it's it's a very nice and scenic area as well as Paris has in general. Uh, so definitely recommend checking out the Champs Elysees and the Arc de Triomphe. Do you know what? I'll be honest. When I was young, I always used to think, and you're probably going to laugh when I say this, Marble Arch. 
I always, I always thought they had some sort of connection, Marble Arch in, in London, Central London. I always thought they had a connection because they had a very, very similar style of um, design. Yeah, you can see it. There are lots of places in the world, well not in the world, in, in a lot of cities that have an arc kind of structure in them. Because it's a, it's a common architectural design, stands out, has multi, has a purpose often in terms of you know, being able to go and do it, traffic, being able to go through it and so on. Mm. So, yeah, you get a few of these in countries around the world. Some, I'm sure, inspired by other countries and other cities. Okay, so it's on day two now. Let's see what day two has to say. <laughs> Now that's interesting. I haven't gone to Disneyland Paris. I've been to Universal Studios in, in Florida, but I've never been to Disneyland. Uh, yeah, it's interesting. Let's see what he says. Or his experience. I just don't do roller coasters. What? Excuse me? Why not? Risk reward, it just doesn't make sense. I'm just like, I don't understand why I'm going to go on something to be scared. I just don't understand. But I, it's, it's just, that's not worth it. I don't like heights. So. This, this is the same guy that said I was scared. <laughs> He looks like he's got all the homies with him, which looks like it's a fun trip. Wherever they came with him, we just met them there, either way. Good times. Alright. Okay, and now we're at day three. This is probably the last day. Okay, so this time he's actually going to the top of the Eiffel Tower, or at least partly up. Like I said, it's a great view from the top of this, midway or to the top uh, from the Eiffel Tower. So if you can go in, you can see it. There are lifts, but I don't think all the way to the top. When you get to midway, I think that might be where you need to start walking up some stairs. <laughs> Wow. Yeah, so you can see, look at these views. Look at these views of the city. Look at this. Amazing! <laughs> Amazing! Amazing! Okay, so that's the end of that video. Uh, give me the first video. I will make the first video, the one that was a bit more static, a 6.5, 7 out of 10. Uh, just like, I think it needed a bit more dynamism to it. But I guess that was just the style of it. What would you give that first one? No, I'll give the first one a nine. Nine out of ten. It was the video was basically it was remember it's three sixty. So obviously you can pan around, if you pause, pan around and see the the whole three sixty and it showed you told you where it was as well clearly and it gave you different angles of the of the place. So yeah, I'll give it a nine. Alright. And this one, what will you give this one? This one is seven. What? Yeah, man. Do you know what? I know you like the dynamic, but it's not. What's the It's not clear when what they're presenting. If you get what I mean, like as I said, the other one was was still shots. He had it still for a considerable amount of time. Good, like ten seconds, fifteen seconds, and I said. You can pan around, you can have a look. This one is literally, it's wherever his camera went. Yeah. See, I see what you're saying. I think the first one gives you a sense of you have choice and you can choose how it goes and, and how you view the video and enjoy it. This one, it's always, it's obviously been authored by him. It yeah. gives a given point of view. But I like this guy's point of view. I like his energy. I like the way that he interacts with people. Uh, I just like the way that he's actually really going and doing things in Paris, which is, I think is the way you should do it, and actually talking to people. So for me, I give this one a 9 out of 10. But I guess it just goes to show our different styles and interests. Recap, actually, this guy's name is Ujwal, so U-J-J-W-A-L. He's got 
10.1 million subscribers at this point in time and this video has 4.8 million views and it only came out 7 months ago so I think he's not doing badly for himself shout out to Ujwa